coming up on Wolf Creek Pass. And um, I've been through here several times and uh, it's beautiful. It's a great ride and it's, uh, it's a high mountain pass. I'm getting ready to leave Kip's Grill in Creed, where I had lunch and an awesome burger. I also interviewed a couple of a couple who work here. Um, the young lady is from Creed, but she's been living in Florida. And the gentleman I spoke to was a, a former um, Army helicopter Chinook flight engineer. And uh, they're coming up here because uh, I guess her mother's starting a. Uh, another grill here so an awesome burger had a great time and there's not a cloud in the sky i saw one little wispy one behind me it's 54 degrees it is quarter after three and um let's ride And as you can see, it's uh, absolutely gorgeous. We just crossed the Rio Grande River again. So here's the town of South Fork.
So as you saw by the sign, we're gonna get on 160 West and uh, at Verbagosa Springs. This will take us up over uh, Wolf Creek Pass. coming up on Wolf Creek Pass and um, I've been through here several times and uh, it's beautiful it's a great ride and it's uh, it's a high mountain pass so yeah we're at 9,500 feet and still climbing as you can see and uh, the temperature has dropped to 45 degrees So we just went over 10,000 feet. The temperature is down to 43. And that's the Wolf Creek uh, ski area right up there. Avalanche tunnel. So yeah, there's some uh, serious warning signs because there's a huge hairpin curve coming up here.
So I was coming up here one year and actually saw a truck up that truck ramp. So there's that hairpin turn over there. The one that we've been warned twice about. Wendy. Back up to 54 degrees, and we've dropped down to about 8,000 feet. There's another POI, Treasure Falls. Turned out to be an absolutely spectacular day. Bit of a chill, but we're early in the year.
So we're going to stay on 160 here. Uh, we're coming into Pagosa. There's the sign for it right there, Pagosa Springs. And um, I make an annual trip down here. I've been doing that for the last, I don't know, six years. Um, because I like the little town. It's a nice little town. I do not go to the springs. But it's a nice little town. Uh, it's not tiny. I mean, it's kind of spread out. But I like to come down here because they have some, uh, they have some bars that have, uh, that have live rock music, which is, I, I like that, you know. To start the evening off, uh, there's a cigar bar up here. And I go in and I have a glass of Grand Marnier and a cigar and I shoot some pool with whoever happens to be in there. The hot springs are um, over here. And down in this area here, they had a, I was down in one year and they had a carnival. Um, and it, it, went, it was a carnival, but it was also um, a food and a wine um, event. All the local restaurants were in there serving up food and you'd buy tickets and then, um, you know, you'd give them tickets for the food. And man, it was good. They had some really good food down there. So I usually stay in a little, um, there's a hotel back there that I stayed. So that wine bar's right here, somewhere. That's it right there, the Pagosa Bar. And the rock and roll place I like to go to and listen to live music is, um, it's back around the corner over here. It's right back on that street, back there. That, that's it right there, one back there. Uh, because it's a nice little place, you know, they serve good bar food and uh, they have good live music. They also have a balloon fiesta here. Um, of course, the major balloon fiesta is down in Albuquerque uh, in October, at the end of October. But they have one up here. Uh, I don't think they're holding it this year, though. Because, uh, you know, those things take a lot of planning. And um, they had all the COVID restrictions in place. So I think they went ahead and canceled it for this year. I know a lot of events in Colorado were canceled due to COVID for this year because they didn't know, you know, they didn't know that the vaccination was going to come out and how it was going to work. So we'll see. Maybe they'll redo them. See, that was the main part of the old town. All this up here, I don't know how new it is, but it is a newer part of town. State Trooper. That's Chimney Rock up there, I believe. Um, it's a, a Native American sacred site. Ah, oh, here we are. Nice, okay. All right, turned green already. Lucky us. Yeah, so that's 151. You take that down, it'll take you down to, so you can go up and see Chimney Rock. Jeez, that's, that's a quick light, man. 